okay here we are so we're starting this red buff look at this ah uh, <laughs> i was called jack's ash i clearly got some of that ash on the mind look at this leash from jack's arena here so we're gonna go ahead and grab this and then look for that gank so can we gank top that is the question here and honestly this isn't completely lost what i would like to do is maybe let jack sit level two so that he can leap e and then go for the gank because if i'm on this side anyway the thing i like about doing krugs first is i'm kind of on this side anyway and i have to go down this way anyway if i'm here right then i i take a lot of time to go up here but otherwise i could just do this right so i'm gonna go ahead and pass up towards here and we should have this guy Jackson needs to hit level two okay he needs to wait for me oh I'm just going to wait. Oh, no, you ain't. Hey, where are you going? Where are you going? Hey, Lee, you want to fight too? You want to fight? You want to fight? Ugh. Okay, I don't have E. Yo, where's my Jax? I alpha. I alpha. I alpha. Why? What took him so long? Okay, if I had my E, I would have fought that. But uh, mistakes are made. We're not going to talk about that, all right? Shh. It's okay, guys. It's okay. All right. Let's grab this crab. Man, this is looking yummy. I'm, I'm so tempted at the same time I'm not. Oh, look at that mid lane, though. Maybe I'm focusing on the wrong people. I don't know if I can kill her. I don't have Ignite. I kind of want to wait for Lee Sin to go far away. Like, Lee Sin's going really far away, right? And we're kind of waiting for Silas to get in a better angle here. All right, let's go. There we go. And now we can hold the wave for Lux. Or you can just tax it if you're not feeling particularly confident with your teams. But the benefit of holding a lane like this is Lux doesn't hate you. Right? And that's always a good thing in a team game is that your teammate doesn't hate you. So we're just heading down towards bot lane anyway. I wish Pike would, like, not run. Okay, you gotta let me have this, Pike. I'm just gonna meditate. It's no big deal. I, obviously, I didn't meditate to reduce the true damage from Cog, but... Oh, my love through. But, uh, obviously, you know... This should hold. We're good. I meditated, obviously, to get a little bit of extra heal while I was in that bush, and plus to wait for the minions to get distracted. So, let's get him back. And we're gonna purchase... Uh, I said I was gonna go, like, damage this game, right? So we could go Dustblade. Honestly, I don't run Dustblade anywhere near as much as I used to. But I think Kraken's really good, and I don't have enough. I'm just going to sit here and wait, but I think Kraken's good in pretty much every situation. So I'll grab a Kraken here. I'll swap over to Ezin Shriver, uh, Infinity Edge, and then we'll talk about the rest of the build when we get there. So let's go. Now let's hit level 6 and look for a gank. So here's where you want to look around the map. Like this guy, this guy. Oh, <laughs> you, you see my ult meter went off? When you say, oh, that's your time to gank. Okay. You know what? That's a good indicator when you're asking, should I gank? If they, if you look at somebody and you go, oh, that means you should probably gank. By the way, this is really dumb, but I'm going to do it. It was worth it. Let me tell you about it. It was worth it. It was worth it. 10 out of 10, we'll do it again. You ready for this? Come on, Lulu. No! I had to flash immediately there. The reason why I flashed immediately is because uh, I didn't want to lose my double strike, right? So you can see, like, if you look at it again, you can see that I was losing my double strike counter. And if I lost my double strike counter, it'd be really hard to kill her under that tower. I'm going to get some plates. So, yeah, you see how I, like, shoved that wave instead of holding it for Lucian? Well, maybe if he didn't die so much, he could have had those minions. Huh? Huh? I'm going to kill this first before messing with Lulu because I don't trust my bot lane. You know what? I'm going! I'm going! <laughs> Cha ching I don't know. I'm going to be honest, guys. Especially when you're in low elo. I love going for bot lane. Like, bot lane's basically always free kill. Here, let's sweep. Bot lane's always, like, a free kill or two. Look, look, he's complaining about camp. Don't push so hard then, dummy. Yeah, by the way, don't ever, like, poop talk anybody unless you want them to play harder. So, like, if you, if you talk, if you, if you talk badly to any enemy, it just persuades them to further play harder against you. But, um... 
Yeah, he, he's still complaining about camp. I like how camp is universal. It doesn't matter what region you're playing in. You can always understand when they say camp. Yeah, I'm going to take your tower. I wasn't going to before, but now I'm going to. I'll take your life, too. Why not? That's what they get. Like, if he didn't mess with me, I would not have went that aggressive on him. But I decided, um, yeah, I'm going to take his tower. I want it. That's all there is to it. Yep. That's his own fault. It's it's my favorite when somebody does something I don't like and it leads to them losing. Yeah, like that right there. All right, well, I got like a good, I don't know, 10 seconds to hit this tower. 10 times uh, 200 damage is almost enough to kill the tower. Let's go, baby. Got it. Oh, I almost didn't get that. Oh. Okay, son, sit down, please. Oh, he kicked me! I have like 300 health! Bro! Alright, so we got a grab on our Ezra Retriever. So what's next, guys? We talked about how Infinity Edge is the next item. If I could afford a pickaxe right now, I would get that over to Crit Cloak every day, any day. Uh, same for the BF Sword. In my opinion, I don't feel like Crit Cloaks are really worth stacking until you get at least an Infinity Edge. Right? So I would hold off on uh, Crit Cloaks anytime I can. But in this case, you know, I gotta buy it. I hate buying Crit Cloaks. I hate it. It's just too much RNG. So I'm gonna get this red before I go to looking top. I know I see top pushing in. The red's on the way. It makes me stronger. The guys level up on me. We might as well play a safe, right? He's probably gonna push. Now he doesn't get proximity gold. I want the cannon. You can have the rest, bud. That's what we call tax. You should be thanking me. I just, like, I denied his laner from taking Proximity Tower Gold. Also, you notice how I just, like, insta-burst him? This is what I'm saying. Like, you see plays like that. A lot of people want to build uh, Kraken for the burst. But, or, sorry. A lot of people want to build Dustblade for the burst. But you can see Kraken does it better. And the reason why Kraken does it better is because of that crit. And how your alpha crits. But, the benefit of Dustblade is it's better in teamfights thanks to the invisibility. Uh, does she really think she's gonna run away? You ain't running, bud. I like that Pike trying to take my kill. Come on, bro. Chill. But, yeah, you guys are... Dude, this is before Infinity Edge, guys. That's what I'm saying. Kraken is a burst build. The only thing that makes Kraken not a burst build is when you get Gunzus. That's when it stops being a burst build. So keep that in mind. Is he really gonna fight me? Do you like that sidestep? Like that meditate on his kick? Like that alpha follow? Oh. Okay. Well, I mean... I can only be so good, guys. I'm expecting them to be around here. Oh, they took my blue. Who got it? So, you keep an eye on his, uh... His, uh, wind? Oh, shoot. I messed up. So, we knew that he had his wind up there, and we know that as soon as he sees me, he's going to use it because his timer is running out. And that's why we went ahead and we popped the... Oh, somebody's over here. I'm not going to do it. I don't know where Lulu and Kog are. And plus, dragon spawning soon. I got a little greedy. Yeah, there's Lulu right there, right? Imagine if I went on that. You guys know what would happen. Now, we're probably in trouble here. But, you know, what is life without a little trouble? Oh, no, we're not in trouble. Once he uses his dash in, we could actually just kill him. Okay, that's rough that Lee Sin had flash there. If he didn't have flash, he'd be dead. So what do we get next? So we obviously we want to get some kind of crit item. Um, in this case, Navari is great for getting those alphas up because imagine how many more plays you can make with alpha. Uh, Bloodthirster is so-so. I don't think he benefits from the lifesteal quite that much because a lot of his damage is true. You can get this if they get a lot of armor. So let's take a look here. 
Now, nobody's really got any armor. You get this for some uh, quick silver action if Lulu's a problem. But you can see that I'm mostly dodging the Lulu CC this game. So, and plus her knockup can't be cleansed. So I'm actually going to roll with Navari so I can get additional, um, additional of that, whatever the hell I'm getting, cooldown. And then we could also start looking at grabbing a zeal item to get additional attack speed if we don't want more AD. But honestly, I really like AD, and we probably want this armor pin as our last item because, you know, it's just more cost-efficient that way. But, I mean, a Phantom Dancer gives us a really easy Soul of Baron. We could buy a zeal and grab a pot, and this is a huge power spike for us. Go get Dragon and then go. Or, you know, they could just do that. But Lee Sin doesn't have ult now. Oh, she had ult again. Bro, this game's hard. Yeah, the Lulu Cogs make this game really hard. I think for our last item, we don't need any more crit. We'll probably get like a Zanyas. No, we don't want Zanyas. Our team can't really do it. So the thing is, is like in Zanyas here, you typically want Zanyas when your team is at a bunch of dead weights. And in this case, my team is a bunch of dead weights. We want as much one shot as possible. Honestly, does he have a shield bow? He has a shield bow. A shield breaker. This, it's obvious. Shield breaker is obviously the way to go here. We could do this. We could do this. We just need... Wait, where's Lucian? Dude, didn't Lee Sin just kick? That item's fair. It's it's a really fair item, in my opinion. I, I think Stopwatch is really fair, and he definitely deserved to win that fight. Absolutely. Guys, why is Yone just solo killing our inhibitor when we have three people up? What am I watching? <sighs> what am I actually watching? Watching me clean some peeps up. All right. I'm just going to try and... Oh, I can't end it. Uh, team. Team. I'm sweeping. What the fuck is this? Uh, I'm, I'm screwed. Okay, I'm not screwed. I I freaking own that. All right, I'm going to play safe. Yone is really powerful, and so is Silas. So I'm going to play safe. I'm going to get this dragon. It's just a safe play. It's just safe play to win. Like, we could all try to push, but it's just safer if we win this way. Oh, it's not the other dragon. What? We didn't have the soul. I forgot. We don't have jacks. Oh, wow, that damage. Hold him, meditate. You have slain an enemy. Yeah, so we walked away to meditate to hold Heinlander. I think I can end this solo. You are wrong. I can't move. No, I'm gonna lose. Okay. I'm still gonna upload it though, and I'm gonna show you guys something here. People say Yi is a late game champion, and he's not. Like, straight up, I do not actually think Master Yi is a late game champion. And the reason why is because of this item, this item, and this item. 
and then of course supports like Lulu with this item. The problem is I cannot win a game because they have stopwatch and Zanya. You just can't. When you're in the late game, they all have stopwatch and Zanyas. And this right here is a prime example of why I personally do not believe Master Yi is a late game champion. He's a mid game champion. You got to get ahead. You got to push and you got to win. Honestly, we shouldn't have lost that. I should have went for the ending instead of doing the cloud dragon. I thought the cloud dragon was an elder. That's entirely my bad there. Um, but yeah, that's when we should have ended it. But anyway, hopefully you guys learned something about the game. I think it was a good game overall. And also the ending showing you guys why I don't think he's the greatest in the late game. Maybe that'll uh, show up too. I probably should have gotten Azanias, but the thing is, is when you feel like your team's incompetent, getting Azanias or a Guardian Angel is just really rough because you don't expect them to make any plays while you're reviving, right? Like if I revived there, what was going to happen? It was just screwed. But yep, um, that's that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it.